Nuclear power in space sounds super futuristic, but it's actually super vintage. When we're talking about nuclear power in space, we're talking about radioisotope thermoelectric generators, or more simply, RTGs. An RTG is a nuclear battery that uses thermocouples, thermoelectric material that conducts an electric current because of a temperature difference at the end of the couples. In this case, we're talking about decaying plutonium-238 on one end and the coldness of space on the other. This produces electrons that become a voltage output. And amazingly, the RTG actually predates spaceflight. The first RTG RTG was invented in 1954. The first RTG flew in space as the power source of the Transit 4A navigational satellite launched in 1961. This was the SNAP-3. SNAP stands for System for Nuclear Auxiliary Power because everything in space loves a million acronyms. The Apollo missions also used RTGs. Starting with Apollo 12, the Apollo Lunar Surface Experiment Package, or ALSEP, used a SNAP-27 power source. Over the years, there have been other types of RTGs, one of which is the general general purpose heat source RTG. This kind of RTG flew on the Galileo spacecraft and on New Horizons, mostly to give it heat. There's also a multi-hundred watt RTG, which has more capability for longer duration missions. These RTGs are on the Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 satellites and also flew on Cassini. And there's also the MMRTG, which is the one you might have heard of the most. This is a multi-mission radioisotope thermoelectric generator. It's specifically designed to work both in the vacuum of space and on planets in different environments, namely Mars. The Curiosity rover and the Perseverance rover both have MMRTGs.